Okay, so I got stuck right over here. I found the heart-shaped tub. thank my friend Larry and my friend Alicia from Girl on the Hike for suggesting these hot springs. Mm -hmm. You know it's a good off-roading adventure when you got mud on your mirrors. Got some over there too. Ooh. Yep. here my name is Diane and this is out and about with Diane where I like to travel explore adventure camp basically just do anything outdoors and I like to bring you along with me and hope that I encourage you to get out and about so if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button all right let's get started so it's not as warm as I'd like it to be it's probably like 102 and it's pretty cold outside but after all that I think I'm, I'm due for a soak and a beer, but yeah, it is truly beautiful out here. This is truly relaxing, especially after what I just went through. I'm glad I didn't get stuck. I think getting stuck so many times, you kind of learn, you learn the different maneuvers to prevent yourself from getting stuck, but the, it, it's been raining and snowing here and I almost didn't come here, but when I looked at my atlas, I was so close when I was driving by that I needed to come check it out. I did see a guy in a Mustang attempt it too, but he turned around. He made it pretty far. But, um, the, uh, roadway here looks pretty flat and compact, but it's actually, like, that kitty litter stuff, like that clay. So, yeah. Pretty awesome view, too. <laughs> hot spring it's about 102 and there's enough room in this one for three people I did read that there was three hot springs up here I've only found two the other one was about maybe a hundred it was a little bit too cold for today like I it's been snowing so this one is okay a little bit hotter would be nice but um yeah like I said the road in here it was fine until you get to the power line road and then it's kind of bumpy and washed out so just be careful after it rains or it snows and it's mid-april right now so the weather is uh unpredictable but uh yeah and then once you get up here it turns into this greasy clay that it's hard to move around when that's on your tires so i gotta take it easy getting out of here but i'm gonna take my time getting out and I'll probably get out of the hot spring here soon, but this is so relaxing. It mellowed down my heart rate almost Im immediately. So, awesome views. Thank 
my friend Larry and my friend Alicia from Girl on the Hike for suggesting these hot springs to me. They were pretty wonderful. I can imagine this would be a good spot in the summertime, so maybe I'll be back. Definitely not after a rain. There's two other people here, and uh, it's just beautiful. It reminds me of any of the hot springs in the Sierra. It's just like soaking the hot spring and having like a panoramic view of the mount the snow capped mountains and stuff. So this was a pretty decent soak. And even in the summertime that lower tub would be pretty good to soak in. It's actually a bathtub, so alright. I'm gonna show you where I got stuck. Okay, so I got stuck right over here. Not in that stuff, but beyond it, where it looks hard packed. You can see where I turned around right there. So just keep that in mind after a rain. You probably just want to park down there and walk up. I wasn't dumb enough to come up here, but it was all worth it in the end. Okay, so this one is not actually a bathtub. It's like a trough, like a trough that cows drink out of. But, uh, it's really nice with the view. It wouldn't be too bad during the summertime. Crystal clear. There's definitely some awesome people taking care of these hot springs. And it's really appreciated. It feels good. It's really not much cooler than the, the other one. Coming out of the source is actually a lot hotter. Alright. What are your thoughts on these hot springs? They're very... The view is beautiful. Um, I definitely wouldn't come here if it was really cold. I'd probably stick with actual spring up here, which you might want to do some research on the weather, and sometimes that's not even accurate, so maybe May time, May, would be good, but uh, it is incredibly beautiful here. Like I said, it reminds me of the Sierras, the Sierra Nevadas, but I'm going to close this video out, and I will see you guys in the next video. I've got to head down the road and finish my Loneliest Highway road trip, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Okay, so the key to not getting stuck is to straddle these ruts that people have created coming in here. It's going to be more hard packed on the outside because there's water pulling up where those ruts are. It's easy to get stuck and kind of slide around tires or mess up your tires, sorry. But yeah. You just straddle this all the way down. There are some mushy spots, so you just gotta be careful. You know it's a good off-roading adventure when you got mud on your mirrors. Got some over there too. Whoop. Yep.